Question two. <clears throat> this question is about making copper salts. The figure below shows the apparatus given to a student. Okay, so they've given you all the apparatus here. <clears throat> you need to outline a safe plan the student could use to make pure dry crystals of the soluble salt, copper sulfate, from insoluble metal oxide and dilute acid. And it's worth six marks. There isn't much space to write this answer. <clears throat> no, it, um, you'd get much more space in the real exam. Uh, so let's see how we get on here with this very limited space. So the first thing, before I start writing an answer, I'm just going to plan it out. What do I know? Well, I know I need to make copper sulfate. I've got metal oxide and dilute acid. So I'm going to need to know what that metal oxide is. Well, if I'm making copper sulfate, that's going to be copper oxide. And the acid will be, because I'm making sulfates, the acid will be sulfuric acid. Okay, and it may well be that up here, not in my answer, I know that copper oxide plus sulfuric acid will make copper sulfate, which is what I want but it will also make water. Okay, so I'm gonna end up with that. So I'm gonna use, instead of using bullet points here, I'm gonna use numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm gonna add copper oxide to sulfuric acid, and I'm gonna make sure I add loads, yeah, loads of it. Uh, so add some copper oxide to sulfuric acid and I'm going to make sure I mention the equipment in a beaker. Okay, second thing I'm going to stir using a stirring rod. Now I've said some, what I might actually use is excess instead of some because excess means I've added more than I need to do that reaction so I'm going to end up with because I've got more copper oxide than I need excess I'm going to end up with some copper oxide just remaining so I'm then going to filter filter out the remaining copper oxide which is not reacted and I'm going to using use a <coughs> a filter oops sorry use a funnel in the conical flask and I might say they're using actually using filter paper in a funnel in the conical flask okay so then I'm going to end up with so I'm going to end up with here I'm going to end up with uh, with copper sulfate and water so copper sulfate plus water so the reaction will have happened I will have caught some copper oxide there there'll be no acid left at all okay so I'm sort of thinking what I was doing here so that was my that was the sulfuric acid and then I had some copper oxide in there as well Um, I may, I might have said here actually the spatula, I haven't mentioned that, have I? Add excess copper oxide to the sulfuric acid in a beaker uh, using a spatula. Using a spatula. Okay, so I'm just going to add that. 
So now I've got the copper sulfate and water. So pour the copper sulfate plus water into an evaporating basin. And I'm going to heat gently Heat gently using a Bunsen burner. Okay, so I end up with that. So the evaporating basin will go on here with the copper sulfate solution. So copper sulfate plus water. And I'm going to heat it gently using a Bunsen burner. And then what, what's going to happen then? Well, then when nearly all the water has evaporated, dry the salt, the copper sulfate crystals. So this is where now I'll be left with crystals. Dry the copper sulfate crystals using paper towels. Okay, so these will be pure. They'll be dry, the crystals. So I've got those. Okay, that's my five things. I've got one more thing as well I haven't mentioned yet, uh, and that's the safe plan. So whenever I do this, I've got to uh, use, um, make sure I, I wear safety goggles. So wear safety goggles throughout. And take care. So with acid, as it's corrosive, I've also uh, be careful handling of moving. I'll be careful with hot liquids, salts, and equipment. Okay, so what we're ever doing with the safety thing, we're just saying these are ways you might get hurt. So just be aware of them and be careful. So you might use, uh, also be careful with hot liquids and salt, uh, salts and equipment. Uh, use tongs or wait till they're cool. Okay, so the way I've structured that is I've still really got six bullet points, but five of them have got numbers. Uh, and then the last thing, I, I just need to make sure I've mentioned something about how to be safe. As I said, you'll get lots more space when you answer this for real. Um, it may well be that you choose to, to draw a diagram to explain how to do these. Uh, you can see there I've annotated on the diagram, uh, on the stuff it gave, on the information it gave me. Um, making sure that I used every single piece of equipment. Uh, and that would certainly be enough. The method plus looking at this would certainly be enough for the examiner to have a very uh, good idea that, that I knew what I was doing. Okay.